क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई कीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस वीडियो वे आर विद थर्टीन चैप्टर ऑफ माइक्रोवेव इंजीनियरिंग वेयर द वेरियस परफॉर्मेंस मेट्रिक पैरामीटर्स एसोसिएटेड विद द प्रोपेगेशन ऑफ माइक्रोवेव सिग्नल दैट हैज बीन जनरेटेड बाय द माइक्रोवेव सोर्स एंड इट इज रनिंग थ्रू द रेक्टेंगुलर वेव गाइड इन जनरल द ट्रांसमिशन लाइन फॉर द माइक्रोवेव सिग्नल इन द माइक्रोवेव टेस्ट बेंच is to be measured for these parameters so this chapter we have dedicated for all those measurements we are covered with the vswr measurement techniques the power measurement frequency measurement we have also seen the attenuation measurement phase shift measurement impedance measurements have also been covered in the previous lectures there we are now introduced to the various devices that are helpful in all these particular measurements are the slotted line the tunable detector we have the power measurement meter the frequency meter the wave meter we have so next to that the network analyzer spectrum analyzer all have been reported now let us see this particular topic into the details so here we start with the measurement for the insertion loss so insertion loss insertion loss is basically the summation of the two factors so here i mention insertion loss so the two factors are one the attenuation or i can say as this is the insertion loss the loss occur due to the attenuation while having the propagation when this attenuation loss is added to the loss because of the reflection here so i can say this is the reflection loss here so the reflection loss and the attenuation loss together is regarded as the insertion loss so earlier in this chapter in the previous videos the attenuation measurement techniques we have already gone through the power ratio method and rf substitution methods we have reported for the attenuation measurement for the microwave signal here so out of these two methods the rf substitution method will be a good one because the power ratio method will be having certain kind of the disadvantages so that has been overcome into the rf substitution hence the attenuation loss this factor can be calculated by the use of rf substitution method into the recent last video where we have the measurement of impedance so measurement of impedance we have reported by the use of magic t also by the use of slotted transmission line and the use of reflectometer so for the reflection loss if we can make the use of reflectometer so rf substitution method plus the reflectometer can give us the overall measurement of the insertion loss for the microwave signal propagating in the microwave system here so i hope the addressing the topics attenuation measurement and that of the measurement of impedance will complete the insertion loss measurement here so by the next lecture we shall address the another measurement for the parameter we call for the dielectric constant here the dielectric constant the relative one can be denoted epsilon r so let us see its measurement into the next lecture in the same chapter called microwave measurement for more such details and the knowledge if you want to have on this subject microwave engineering you can subscribe to ekeda channel thank you